So when you put the, put the orthotic in the shoe, you put the patient's shoe on. Now if they're post-op, they may have to get a size or two bigger because of the swelling of the ankle if they've had fixation. So they put the shoe on with the orthotic. Now, there's a progression of steps for fitting. The most important thing is to get the ankle, the posterior strap for the ankle fit on. So Chris Clifford is going to show you the progression of how he puts a brace on. Make sure that they have a good athletic sock. They can't have a thin silk sock, so it should be a good athletic sock. So Chris has got the... Um, got the uh, Taiko in his hand. We're going to film the Taiko in his hand. So what he does, show him firstly how, how, you, how you, the first thing you do. First thing I do is just take all the straps and take it off the other side of the upright. That way when you put it on, you can open up the wings as wide as you need them to be. And that way it's not pinching their leg. Because if a person has a very large calf, Obviously, you fit it around like this, and then the strap goes around. If they have a thin strap, because these two buckles on the medial side are always, uh, this is where they always are. And the medial side has a much bigger ring, as you can see here, this oval, than the lateral side. That's how you know it's a right. This happens to be a right large. So the most important thing he's going to do now is make sure that this rides up. It usually rides up about three quarters of an inch or maybe even an inch at the, at the heel counter junction more or less, right here, not at the foot. And it angles down about 30 degrees that way. So he's gonna show you exactly how to fit it. The most important thing is to get that posterior heel and I'll stand up once he gets it on there. So just put it on normal like you, you think you would get it on. The there. patient's knee is 90 degrees about and their foot is on the floor. And now, then you just you bring it back and make sure you... Now I'm going to make sure they can see this. Turn it around. See how he fit it on there? It locks in right there. It'll catch. It'll catch right there. And it goes down about 30 degrees. So now he's, what he's going to do, he's going to pull this forward. He's going to make sure that's snug. You may need to bring the the knee behind them a little. Maybe 100 degrees instead of 90. To get it. To and get then it there's progression of straps. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you always do. One, two, yeah. three, four. Always do the one right over the ankle first. And you don't have to kill them with it. I mean, notice how he pushed back there again. Boom. That's one, two, Three, four, and then now what you do is before you take these off and start over, you take the whole thing off and you may have to bend like this feels a little snug here. So what, he, what he's going to do here is he's going to take this off in order for code 1971, you have to... It's custom fitted, so you have to modify it in some way. So you may have to bend these side struts out, and you just do it over the side of a table, or if you're strong like me, you can just use your hand and bend it, okay? Both sides, or you can bend it in. Or even sometimes if it pinches a certain area, you may have to take a heat gun and we can show you how to use that. It takes 20 seconds. You heat it up for about seven to eight seconds, let it cool for five seconds, and then just take your finger and you can bend it out. So he's already had it on once, So and then he took it off and he readjusted one of the two or both side struts. And now he's gonna put it back on. And again, the most important thing, he's gonna take that right hand of his, because he's right-handed, and make sure you ram that in. So strut, number one strap is right over the ankle. See how he put it on and he had his hand behind here? This is number two. Number three. And number four. The first one may be a little frustrating, but after you get the hang of it, it works very well. And then, 
So now that he's done that, now he's going to repeat it once more, starting with the same number. One, just to tighten. Two, three, four. And then have the patient walk. Now this happens to be a range of motion one. See, we've taken the three screws out on the inside and outside. Otherwise, it'd be a fixed. Now, range of motion, they can walk normally. Heel strike, toe strike, toe off. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Now, with the locked one, you can't walk heel toe because it's locked. So, you walk with a flat foot gait. So, you have total contact of the shoe. So, when you walk, you go boom, 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 boom. That's because it's locked. You don't want to try to do a whole toe heel walk. So basically, that's the, the fitting of the brace, and it should be comfortable. Uh, and you may need a heat gun with jogging shoes, a thin jogging shoes. With a work boot, you'll never need a heat gun. But most of this you can just do with your hand. But you always, with those codes, you always have to bend it a little bit. L1971, L2820, the acute brace. So... If there's any other questions, always feel free to call me, uh, Dr. Fred Furlick at 574-286-2273 or call Cliff here at SureStep Midwest. And it's right on the um, customer service line on the order form. Thanks so much.